and welcome back. It is me. Um, so the first clip you will have seen, I'm just gonna set you down, was me last night when I started this video. I was gonna be a day in the life of someone with insomnia. Um, because not that I have diagnosed insomnia at all, um, but we're fairly sure that I do have it. I have every single symptom there is, and it's it's really wearing down on me. I'm very, very exhausted um, because, I, well, I'll get more into it. Uh, but the reason for me not filming until it's like half two now um, is because it is that exhausting that I physically haven't been able to do anything. So I didn't sleep till maybe six o'clock in the morning. I woke up at 10. Um, I've had four hours sleep and then I've, I've literally just been moseying around and because I, I, I haven't got the effort to do anything but I won't sleep um, but like I said we're getting more into that so it is now half two but I'm still gonna show you guys what I'm doing um, I'm sure this will be a very short video as I don't do much because I can't um, but yeah I've just been have it which is good um, because I'm exhausted at the minute that I can't even bring myself to make myself some food uh, but I have it today um, enough for like what the amount of hours I've been up no worries um, but yeah uh, I am going to go upstairs and we'll talk while I'm going to kill my hair do I need to kill my hair? Absolutely not. Why am I doing it? I don't know, but I am. So we're going to go with that. I'm not crying. But I've got a very croaky throat and it sounds like I am, but I'm not. Uh, but yeah, so I'll take you along with me. I can't imagine this being very interesting. I'm not going to lie, but obviously, I sorry, someone rung me. Yeah, I can't imagine this being too interesting. I'm not going to lie and it is probably going to be very short. Um, I've got a few things to sort of explain as I did a giveaway and then I hit 1k which is so crazy I am so thankful like that just that's unreal to me um, and I've had loads of ideas and you guys give me loads of ideas for videos to film but I physically can't um, it's took me all day to sit on the edge of my sofa and film this just because I physically couldn't get off the sofa I've been laid there um, but I'm doing it I'm making progress and I'm gonna edit this tonight and it'll get uploaded tomorrow so today is the 5th of November and it'll be up tomorrow which is my mum's birthday and um, so yeah let's let's do this I'll get back to you when I'm killing my hair hello the lighting is gonna be awful because all my windows behind me um, let me just see if this is better. Oh, God. That's better. It's very yellow, but here we are. Usually filming for lighting. Um, I'm just trying to find my curler. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm upstairs now in my depression pit of a bedroom because I tidy it and then and in the course of like a day it all all be messed up again um but here's what it is i need to rinse my makeup brushes that i washed last night um and i'm might do a makeup i'm not 100 percent sure um i don't even know if i'm leaving the house today um i don't know i seem to get in these <laughs> i don't know there's not there's not anything to do um and it's like if i I don't know, it's difficult, but... Anyway, that's not the point. Um, anyway, I'm just trying to untangle my tip curlers. I'm just going to pull it in over the best. Am I going to curl it with a massive knot in? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so... I am... Oh, shit. The giveaway is still ongoing, by the way. Um... And I'm gonna keep it on going for maybe ow, for maybe like another week or two. Um, just because obviously I'm 100%, you know, by now if you've watched for a while, I'm 100% honest, like there's no bullshit here. Um, and I have decided that um, obviously because people do giveaways, it's also for your benefit on there. So I'm giving back to you guys. I mean, I'm giving away a whole Louis Vuitton bag. Um, 
and but also people do it for their benefit as well so like, i'm doing it so i can get more subscribers and stuff um but i'm also doing it mainly to just give back to everyone that supported me by the way i'm just taking my sun who is this sun kissed skin kissed vitamins um for flawless skin so um but yeah i'm gonna keep it on going for another two weeks and then announce the now um but yeah so basically like i i don't have it diagnosed insomnia i don't um uh, but i struggle to sleep a lot i always have for a long time now um I, to be honest i didn't really know what is hello my mum's boyfriend's just run me just to see if we had a pump for balloons because he's they do all else up for for a birthday because it's 50th happy birthday mama smurf if you are watching but you're probably not anyway um yeah so i use this is pure karma um uh, because i always used to joke about insomnia uh, uh, no i know i full well know that it's not funny um which is something that pff, it's just like an ongoing joke like you said like when i up late at night like insomnia um and now maybe i have got it do i want to know if i've got it no am i gonna go to doctors about it no because i'm gonna do it on my own i want to sort it out on my own which i will um but yeah so basically like i don't sleep at night Um, it takes me up until like five six in the morning to be able to sleep and then i try to wake up early so set an alarm so that i can try and stay awake all day and fall asleep the next night and try to get myself back into a routine uh, which doesn't work very often i've got to admit because at the moment with especially with um like the new lockdown and thing i don't do anything through the day so i'm sort of just laying about which tires me out anyway and then i, I and then i end up either falling asleep or it gets to the night time and i'm just not tired but the, my problem is i am so tired like so so tired all the time and 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 like it gets to like eight o'clock at night and i just want to fall asleep and I, multiple times i have and then i'll wake up like an hour later and i'll just i'll be so shattered can't even keep my eyes open but the minute i'm in bed i don't sleep i can't sleep it's horrible it, 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 not sleeping is and and like being tired of not being able to sleep is so exhausting i can't even explain it um and then i get like people saying like oh but you don't do all blah blah which they're not wrong i don't um i obviously I, i've just shut down my business um for christmas i'll be um a new stock will be coming in um january which is so exciting to me um because this is sort of my dream and by the way thank you guys so much because my sunglasses two batches of stock sold out in just over a month and that's two thousand pairs of sunglasses near me off that's so crazy to me and i am beyond thankful um i can't explain it like i'm i'm overwhelmed completely overwhelmed and um i hit 1 million likes on tiktok uh, a few weeks ago i had 37,000 followers at the time i'm now at 60,000 and that's a few weeks later i can't explain it i'm so thankful for everyone um and honestly if you're watching this if you're just taking the time just to watch my videos like that's so so meaningful for me um and it's just i just i can't explain it. it's really nice and like thank you for taking the time to listen to my bullshit um but yeah so i'm dealing with quite a lot at the minute um but in my mind like i, I always say like oh but i could be having so much worse and that is 100 percent true like i'm not, I, I try not to belittle myself to how i feel but at the same time like i know that i could be having so much worse and but i know i'm not overreacting because everyone's worst is different and that's something that i've always tried to explain to people because the worst thing could ever happen to somebody but someone else's worst could be so much worse if that makes any sense so like i'm trying to try and give you an example so this might sound like really horrible but like 
someone's someone's family member might die unexpectedly and that could be the worst thing that could ever happen to them but someone else's worst thing that could ever happen to them could be so much worse does that make sense but everyone's worst is different and you shouldn't belittle your feelings and how you're and how you're responding to your feelings because someone else could be having it so much worse because yeah there is so much worse than everyone there's always somebody that's dealing with something worse that doesn't mean you can belittle what you're feeling are you feeling that for a reason and and, and don't feel bad that you're feeling like you are because there's always somebody that can understand and that can that can talk to you and honestly i'm one of them people like if you are ever feeling shit and something's going on and you you don't have anyone to talk to about or you don't trust anyone to talk to about because I, I've been there where a lot of people sort of don't understand why I'm feeling the way I am or why I'm I'm so drained and like I, I had a lot of problems with my family when I was younger and a lot of people in school would just be like oh she has a different I I have still have the screenshots of messages from some toxic people I used to be friends with in school and they were like um in something going on with her family like every every other week which it was, it really was, but like, that was nobody's fault. Um, and, and I got belittled a lot for how I felt and how I dealt with my emotions because I am so emotional, but I don't know how to deal with it. So I end up crying. And, and, and I'm not a crier, like I won't cry at most things, but like when it comes to things that happen, like to, to me or someone I know, all that emotion, whether it's anger or or anything, it comes out in tears because I can't, I physically don't know how to cope with emotion. It's, it's confusing. I can't explain it. I'm not a professional in this blowing industry, um, but I feel like I've got quite a good understanding of, of things like that. So yeah, if you ever need anything, just give me a message and we can talk, um, which I do speak to a lot of you guys when you message me. I do respond to every single DM when people need me. Um, so yeah, just DM me on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, enough about me. <laughs> how are you guys? Tell me in the comments. Let's talk in the comments. How are you guys? How's your day going? Are you dealing with anything? Have you ate today? Make sure you eat today. I have it today. Just, you know, I know sometimes that first, that first bite of food can be difficult, but it's worth it. You'll get through it and you'll feel so much better. And you know what? I, I get in them. I get that, that to that place where I'm, I don't want anything. There's nothing food wise that I I want. I feel a bit ill when I think about. And I can't explain this at all. I've tried so many times to people try to explain this, but I'm sometimes I'm really hungry. But every time I think of eating things, like I think, oh, do I fancy a pizza? But then thinking of eating a pizza makes me feel sick. And it's not because I don't want to eat. It's just because. I don't know what I want to eat and there's only specific things that I want to eat but I just can't think of what they are. It's hard to explain, it really is. And I don't know if anyone else has that. I don't even know what it is. Um, but yeah, I get that. And honestly, just spoil yourself, eat a treat. Um, and then, you know, that little bit of food might make your, your mindset go up, which means that the next day you might be able to eat something and the next day you might be able to make something to eat and it could change your whole mood for the week if you just start Monday by eating something and you know what eating food is one of the hardest things for quite a lot of us um taking that first bite of a meal is difficult it, it is and it's so simple because everybody from birth knows how to eat it's not something that you learn it's something that you know but some people don't understand that actually sometimes eating can become one of the hardest things getting out of bed in the morning you know how to get out of bed in the morning everyone knows how to do it but it's whether you have the capabilities at that moment in time to do it and you know what it's okay if you don't it's okay to have them days where you just you can't get out of bed stay in bed stay in bed for the day and then do it tomorrow one day at a time, literally take one day at a time because everything, everything has a reason. I am a strong believer that everything happens for a reason, whether it's the worst thing in the world that's happened, it has happened for a reason. And I'm not religious, I don't believe in God, but I believe that everybody has a plan. 
And I believe that if these things are happening to you, it's only because you can get through it. Because you wouldn't be given these, you wouldn't be given these curveballs if you you couldn't dodge them. You couldn't get over it. And do you know what? You're not always going to dodge them. They're going to hit you and they're going to hit you hard. They really are. But I promise you now that you can get through it. And it's worth it in the end because good things will come to people. Everyone, everyone's going to have good things come to them. I promise. But yeah, I'm just going to, I've just got a text from someone that I need to reply to. So I'm just going to end the video for a second and then I will come back once I've done more of my hair. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. Okay. So... I've done, this is the last section. Um, is it gonna get chucked up in a bun? Probably because my hair's too short to be curly like this. But do I mind? No, because I'm actually doing something, um, which is great. So either way, I am proud. And yeah, I'm super excited to be doing something because I haven't worn makeup in a while because I haven't had the effort to do it, which is annoying because makeup is one of my favourite things to do. It makes me so much more confident. However, I don't know, difficult. But anyways, that's not the point. We are not a sad girl anymore. Although we are a sad girl, it's a happy girl, but we can deal with that. Uh, I know that I sound really croaky and I'm not too sure why. Oh, that was a bad one. <coughs> but um, yeah, so my birthday tomorrow i'm super excited i love giving people presents it's my favorite thing to do literally ever um so yeah i'm really excited i hope she likes it i hope she enjoys her birthday because it's gonna be a shit one because we're in lockdown again so it's not like she can see her friends although she does work with all her friends so and she's working tomorrow so that's really good at least she gets to see them at work although it's not really the same but oh well, I'm I'm guessing my 18th is going to be in lockdown and Ross, my brother's 21st is going to be in lockdown. And But oh well, it's just what happens or what's happened. And I really, 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 this is a message to anyone that's ignoring the, the rules of lockdown. I, I look crazy. I 100% understand why you would want to ignore the rules of lockdown and think they're stupid because believe me, I do too. I think they're stupid. I think it's a load of crap. However, they're only going to get worse if you don't stand by them. And I'm sure a lot of you have family that doesn't live with you. Or nans and granddads, grandmas, whoever. That live on their own. Or, you know, you don't have a big family but you don't live together. Think about Christmas and think about how if people don't abide by the rules, you're not going to get to see these people on Christmas. And my nan um, has something wrong with her liver, uh, which means that she is more subject to getting coronavirus or, you know, not being able to um, cope if she got coronavirus. Um, and that means that she can't come here unless it's safe to come here. And I really want to see my nan and granddad on Christmas. So I'd really appreciate it. If, you know, you're from Yorkshire, I look like a noodle head. Um, and you would just, you know, follow the rules. Think about your family. Think about other people's family. And how upsetting it'll be if you don't get to see them on Christmas. And think about all the people that are alone on Christmas. That aren't going to be able to see their families. Please. <laughs> Not just for my sake, but for everyone's sake. Thanks, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, now I look like a crazy noodle head. I'm just gonna run my fingers through it all. My hair is quite greasy at the minute, it's maybe too day washed. But I don't like to wash my hair if I, if I don't have to. Um, just because, uh, well, simply because it, it, it's a lot easier for me and it's a lot healthier for my hair. Um, because I do obviously bleach my hair, as you can see. 
the roots are coming back and I'm not too sure how I feel about it because I'm not going to be able to get my hair done until lock lockdown is lifted and in my opinion you're a fool if you believe that we're going to be coming out of lockdown in four weeks. But this is me with curled hair. I might come back when I've done my makeup, if I do my makeup. Um, I'm looking a bit like Sandy from Greece at the minute. It's probably going to get thrown up in a bun. But yeah, if I don't come back, which I'm sure I will, but if I don't, then thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Thank you for understanding and I hope to see you next week. Mwah. Hello, look who came back. It's me. Feeling a lot more awake now. Uh, I've slept really funny over the past couple of days and now I've got a really bad back. Um, I've decided to do a eyeshadow wing, which I haven't done in months, but I used to really love it. So I'm just going to stick some really small, like, fluffy lashes on, just because I want it to, the eyes to stay, like, quite natural. Not natural, but, like, you know, you can still see the wing, whereas if I put big-ass lashes on, you won't be able to. I'm going to stick these lashes on, see how they look. Um, but, yeah, I really want to keep doing YouTube. It is really fucking hard for me at the minute, if I'm being honest, just to get the motivation. Although, I screenshotted all your guys' um, video ideas and I'm going to go, and I'm going to go, I'm going to get through them all. Um, so, yeah, just bear with me. But if you have watched this video and you've got to this point, then let me know in the comments and give this video a like. Just motivate me. I know that sounds like really cliche, like, just like my video, like it, like it. But genuinely, like, motivate me, please. Because, like, it is really hard when you, you're doing something that you really love, but then you're not getting any sort of recognition for it. I don't crave recognition. I don't thrive off recogni recognition. But, like, it is nice to know that people are actually watching what you're putting all your effort into that makes any sense but yeah so you just let me know and if you ever need to talk just my Instagram will be in the description and you can um message me at any point and I mean that so I'm gonna stick these lashes on and then I might film another video if I have the effort I'll let you guys know but thank you so much for joining today it really 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 means a lot welcome to my TED talk I will update you guys on the insomnia situation if it gets any better if it gets any worse i might document an actual day in my life of me dealing with this um it is a lot of me doing a lot of things in the night that first clip that you will have seen was me cleaning my makeup brushes at half two in the morning um so yeah i mean they're looking really, really pretty and, and all nice and clean now but Although that one's a bit stained from fake tan because it's in my fake tan brush. But anyway, yeah, I'm really, I really hope you enjoyed and I'd love to see more of you. So come back. Go check out on my social media and please subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm joking. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye.